हेलो एवरीवन वी विल कंटिन्यू द टॉपिक कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ इंटरनल टेबल एंड वर्क एरिया एंड इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी स्टडीड व्हाट इज इंटरनल टेबल एंड व्हाट इज वर्क एरिया नाउ वी विल डू द प्रैक्टिकल फॉर द सेम विद द हेल्प ऑफ कोडिंग वी विल अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू डिक्लेयर ए इंटरनल टेबल and how to declare a work area so i will go to sc38 transaction code and you all know sc38 is a transaction code for a bap editor i will give some program name suppose i am saying zprg we all know first name should start with z or y suppose i will write demo internal table you can give any name it's your wish i will go for create i will give some title to the program suppose i am saying demo on internal table and work area i will take the type as executable program because we will execute the program i will save it as a local object we all know in the executable program report is the first word and anything which is appearing in blue color it is a sap reserve keyword now before doing the practical for internal table we'll just go for recap as of now how you declare the variable data is a keyword suppose i am saying lv underscore o number you can give any name it's your wish type is a keyword and you gave that type n n stands for numeric and you gave the length as 10 so it means lv underscore o number is a data object because it will hold the data and what is n it is a data type elementary data type so this is a data object this is a data type now same to same thing we can declare by other way also suppose if i will go to the order header table which we created previously i will go to sc11 transaction code this is our order header table which we create if you remember at that time when we created that table firstly we created the domains then we created the data elements and inside the data element we use the domain if you see this data element this data element which we created for order number it has a domain and what is that domain data type and length numeric at 10 so same to same if i want to declare a variable for order number i can declare by other way also so how i can declare i will write data we all know this data is a keyword tab i am writing lv underscore o number i am using type and i will pass the name of the data element which we created now if you see this data element has a domain and what is the data type and length of domain numeric 10 it means this data object is ultimately of which type numeric type and length of 10 so just see these both sentences have same to same meaning and this is the most most preferred way to declare yes variable name type data element because we all know 
ultimately data element has a domain and domain is what data type and length so you can go by this way also now we have the topic is how to declare a internal table now first thing what is the definition of internal table internal table will store the data data at runtime and anything which is holding that data it is called as what data object we all know what is the definition of data object data object means it will hold the data it will hold the value similarly work area is also what work area will also store the data work area will also store the record but only one record it means internal table work area both both are data object both are data object now how how you can declare a internal table we all know whenever there is a table it means rows and columns will be there okay so how we can make a internal table suppose if you want a internal table of five column so first you need to create a structure of five column because what is structure structure is a collection of columns suppose you want a internal table of 10 columns it means you need to create a structure of 10 columns if you want a internal table of 20 column it means we need to declare or we need to create a structure of 20 columns first so firstly we will create a structure and we will now learn how to create a structure first structure suppose i want a internal table of two columns only first column will be order number second column will be payment mode suppose i want a internal table of two columns it means i need to declare a structure of two columns first because what is structure structure is a collection of columns so firstly we will see how to create a structure first now Whenever you want to create a structure, the keyword is types. So we are learning how to create a structure. Begin of tab. Begin of is a keyword. Anything which is appearing in blue color is a keyword. Now I will give some name. You can give any name, but I am giving the name starting with LTY because we all know a good programmer always follow the best naming convention. LTY stands for local type. You can give any name. It's your wish. Now, I put comma at the last. It means my structure has not ended yet it is continuing it is continuing so what is the first column in the structure first column order number second column payment always make a practice whenever you are going for structure open the table in a new session and copy paste from there itself so what is first column order number yes Copy order number. Time. Now, what is data element of order number? Copy. Just now, few minutes back, we discussed. This is the best way. Best way. So, this is what? This is data object. This is what? Data type. Now, what is second column? Still, we have comma. It means structure has not ended yet. What is second column? Payment mode. I will go for payment mode. PM type. Now, I will 
copy this data element of payment. This is the best way to declare comma. So I declared two columns into this particular structure. Now I will end the structure. End of what is the name of the structure? LTY underscore data and I am putting dot. It means my structure has ended. My structure started at this point. It at this line, it ends at here because we know dot means the line has ended. The particular statement has ended. I will apply pretty printer. I want a internal table of two columns. So firstly, I created the structure. I created the structure of two columns. Now, how how I can declare a internal table now? How to declare? I will write data statement. Anyways, I will remove this code because it's no use. I will write data. How I can declare a internal table? Firstly, I will give the name of the internal table. Suppose I am saying LT underscore data. LT stands for local table. A best programmer always give the best naming convention. You can give any name. It's your wish. Now, to declare a internal table, what is the keyword? Type table of. Type table of. Whenever you are going for internal table, the table word is compulsory. And what is the name of the structure? This is the name of the structure. So what is this? This is a internal table. This internal table is of which type? This internal table is of the structure type. Structure has how many column? Two column. It means this internal table has how many column? Two columns. Now, just we will make that topic more, more clear. We always has two things. What are those two things? Data object and data type. Now, what is this LT underscore data? It is a data object, data object, because this internal table will store the data. This internal table will store the data. It means this is a data type. This is a data type. What is this? This is the structure. This is a structure. Structure has how many column? Two columns. Structure has how many column? Two column. And just recall now, we have how many types of data types? Elementary data type, complex data type, reference data type. What is complex data type? Complex data type is a combination of elementary data type. If I will come on to complex data type, complex data type is a combination of elementary data type. And what are the two types of complex data type? Structure type and table type. Have we all created the structure? Yes, we all created the structure. So this is your data object. What is this? This is a data type. And what is this data type? It is a structure type, structure type. And ultimately, structure type is what? It is a complex data type. When we covered that topic, I told you the whole game is of two things only. Data object and data type. So this internal table is a data object. This internal table is a data object. And this, this is a data type. And ultimately, this data type is what? Structure type. And you can just understand this is a combination of elementary data type. If you see order number, order number is what? Numeric 10, elementary data type. If you see Payment mode. Payment mode is what? Character 1. Character is what? Elementary data type. 
whenever we will combine this elementary data type, it is called as what? Complex data types. So this is the way how you can declare a internal table. Whenever you want a internal table, firstly declare a structure. Now, this is the way to declare a internal table. Now we will declare the work area. How we can declare the work area? Data. I will write LWA. LWA stands for local work area. I will give some name. Suppose I am saying underscore data. Now work area is never, never a table. Never a table. Because it can only, only go for how many record? One record at a time. So how we can declare a work area? Work area type. And what is the name of the structure? LTY underscore data. So now. Is this a data object? Yes, it is a data object because work area will also store the data. But yes, it holds only one record. And what is this LTY underscore data? It is a data type of which type? Structure type. Structure means it is a what? Complex data type. So this is the way you can declare internal table and work area. Now, what is the summary of the video? In this video, we studied how to declare internal table and work areas. First, most important thing, internal table work area both stores the data at runtime. Anything which is storing the data is a data object. Whenever you want a data object, data type is compulsory. Data type is compulsory. So we created the structure, we created the structure. What is structure? Structure is a collection of column. And we took how many column? Two column. And how we declare the internal table? Internal table type table of structure name, structure name. And this is your complex, this is your complex data type. How to declare a work area? Work area type name of the structure. Now we will further continue the topic in the next video. That's it in this video. Thank you.